Good evening everyone. Today I am going to tell you a story from the deep pages of Indian mythology. This is the story of Rakt Beej. A very strong, powerful but wild king of all the asuras called Shumbh had beaten the devtas out of the heaven. All the devtas were now strolling outside the heaven in exile. Shumbh then ruled all over the world including the heavens, the earth and the patal. And intoxicated with his power, he desired to make goddess Durga his wife. Now all the devtas who were in exile, they come to Himalayas where goddess Durga resides. They go to her and tell her of the evil plans of Shumbh to marry her and also request her to defeat and kill this demon so they can go back to their home. Durga gets off her lion and she manifests a warrior deity called Ambika. Now Shumbh sends two of his journals of his army Chand and Mund to find goddess Durga. Chand and Mund search the entire universe and when they finally arrive in the mountains of Himalayas, they see Ambika. They are mesmerized by her beauty, the radiance of her face and they mistake her for Goddess Durga. Chand and Mund says that our king wants to marry you. But Ambika says if your king wants me, he has to defeat me in the battle. And King Shum, hearing this strange message from Ambika, gets extremely angry and he sends a message to Chandan Moon that bring her back to me. Now Chandan Moon with their full force attack Goddess Ambika and she gets up, cuts the head of Chandan Moon and keeps them as trophies beside her. Now when Shum hears about the defeat, he gets extremely angry and he brings his one of the best weapon, Rakt Beach. Now Rakt Beach was a Asur who had a boon from Lord Brahma that every time a drop of his blood falls on the ground another Raktabij will rise from it exactly same as the original one Raktabij goes to fight Ambika and as the fight continues Ambika cuts him but every time the blood drops on the floor another Raktabij appears from there she keeps cutting him and hundreds and thousands of Rakt bees appear on the ground and they surround her from all around. Seeing that Goddess Durga sends all of her eight powers, all eight matrikas and warrior goddesses into the battlefield. They all go into this battlefield and their cries and shouting send shivers down the army of Asuras and Rakt bees. As they keep killing Rakt bees, more Rakt bees keep manifesting and keep multiplying and it becomes completely out of control of these, these eight matrikas. Seeing that Durga closes her eyes and the sky turns dark and there is thunder and lightning and from the center of her forehead appears a dark skinned goddess with four hands and black luxurious hair flying in the air and she's sitting on this lion and she has this sword in one hand and a bowl in her other hand and she rides on her lion and goes to the battlefield and her tongue comes out almost to the ground and as the tongue is rubbing against the ground she goes into the battlefield where all the matrikas are killing Rakt Beach. and every time the matrika cuts a body part of Rakt Beach, Kali rides her lion close to him and with her long tongue licks all the blood before it falls on the ground. Kali goes around and cuts the heads of Asuras and fills her bowl with the blood falling out of the body and drinks it and every time she cuts their head she makes a garland out of it and wears it in her neck and she looks extremely dangerous and thus finally she is able to kill all the duplicate Rakt Beej and goes rushing on her lion towards the original Rakt Beej and cuts his head with her sword and holds it in her head and drinks all the blood into her mouth and collects the blood into the bowel from her body and thus finally the body of Rakt Beej falls onto the ground without a single blood drop falling on the ground. The story of Kali and Rakt Beej 
is one of the most unique stories which is there in the books of Indian mythologies. Raktabij is like no other Asura. He demonstrates a unique problem and Durga then uses her creative power to create a unique solution for the unique problem which is Raktabij. As I always say that mythology is nothing but the subconscious mind made conscious. So what does Kali and Raktabij represent of our subconscious mind? Tell us your answers in the comment section below. We'll come back with another great story for you in the next session of Beyond Mythologies. My name is Sandeep Verma and this is Cobalt Blue Foundation. Thank you.